God, you asked what, what uh, you know, what does gardening mean to me? And I said that I have a plaque on the wall in the house and it says, garden, there's magic in the dirt. And there is, because gardening to me helps you to uh, connect to the earth, connect to the, to the nature and to uh, help things to grow, watch things grow, learn from growing things. And uh, it's never ending. I don't care how old you get. My great grandmother had a long pole with a, 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 a tongued a handle on it, and she sat in a chair and, and weeded and gardened and then moved her chair because she couldn't get down on the ground anymore. But that just shows you that there's no end to how long gardening can be a great joy in your life. Okay. So, so this is a roadie up here. And this is called Creek. And this is another one down here. This is a real beauty. This is, we're really pleased with the way that one's come along. Okay, okay. This is a white bleeding heart. A white bleeding heart? A white bleeding heart. Okay, okay. This is a tree peony. This is a tree peony over here. This is about six or seven years old now. This one's kind of interesting. It, it was uh, a variegated azalea, as you can see by the leaf. And then it changed in the center. I think they call it a sport. If I can keep it from moving. And reverted back to its original, which is just a plain leaf. This is all faithful, and that's what happened to him this year. Because, because why? Because of the uh, cold and the wind and the sun. And we have had, this is Percy Wiseman, one of the most faithful rhododendrons, and he got zapped. Is this but, the first winter that's happened? Yes. Yeah, he's been, t and he's going to bloom beautifully anyway, as you can see, but he's pitiful. But he'll come back. He'll come back. So you just you press on. You just press on. Okay. This is a, called a May apple, and the blossom comes under the leaf. And it takes two or three years for this leaf to get tall enough and big enough to create a bud. And there's one there, too. Okay, and tell me about it. It's a woodland uh, plant, and it likes it damp, you know, real uh, wet. And it comes up every single year. It can be invasive. You may have to rip some out if it gets a bit pushy. And uh, but it's an absolutely amazing plant. So an elderly friend, gardening friend, gave me one yellow lady slipper in a coffee can. And she said, "Cookie, go home and plant that beside a big rock." And I did. And this is what I've gotten now. So if you ever get a yellow lady slipper, plant it beside a big rock. Plant it beside a big rock? Yes. Yeah, because that they like the roots cool and moist. And the big rock will give them that. And you don't have to wonder if it works because it's about 13 blossoms on this patch of lady slippers.